poetry on a September afternoon with Katie did in cicada chorus accompaniment. <laughs> a white ponytail. A white ponytail tells us about the Italian stone sculptor who carved a cunt on the courthouse in Waxahachie, Texas, along with many portraits of the local woman with whom he had a tumultuous affair while he whistled while he worked. Her face, in basso relievo, was comely when things were going well, yet incremental repetitions of her carried a record of ecstasy's decline. The last few faces, fierce gorgons, and then the pudendum. How this God-fearing, straight-laced community, all of whom wanted their ecstasy over easy with a side of grits, allowed an Italian to taint with twat tantrum, their courthouse at town center, goes somewhere beyond the ponder of the Puritan perception of it. Right above the Confederate soldier statue of a southern boy in ecstasy of good old Dixieland, the slitted moan in splendor. The rise and fall of ecstasy rendered in stone, a tale to tell those curious citizens who might inquire as to the nature of artful edifice. And the ecstasy of the storyteller, a local feller with a white ponytail. Alas, may he rest in peace. Here we go. Artful edifice. My lions are rampant with their tails double tufted, turned and tucked. Guardians to my gaudy gate with its forged iron spikes, the likes of old Europe. Pretentious portals way past days of wine and roses and finely attired porters. My quarters are spacious yet spare in em embellishments and gracious ghosts. Once the halls and walls echoed classical chamber music and banal banter of the era. Today, Santana's Amigos and the Romero's exquisite renditions of Rodrigo rock. In the cobblestone courtyard, thunder-hearted exhaust belch of motorcycles scare the cock ere he crows three times for Pete's sake. My take on an artful edifice. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Well, then, I know not what else I would like to say. Blue and white love. Three omnibus unos and a lady liberty in blue and white grace the corner of an envelope full of my love tonight. As I write, I hear the slow clip-clop of Percherons pulling the Madison Ave, Broadway to 23rd Street to Wall Street Ferry along the broad brick people, wagon, and trolley thronged thoroughfare. I was there as she appeared above the mist, her light showing the way to the future and freedom. On that same day, Carmelo kissed Maria. Au revoir.